All right, boys, we are back, and it's time to continue our Year 7 playoffs with our Quebec City Ace Nordiques. So far, so good. Round 1, we had the Buffalo Sabres with an aging Ryan Miller, and uh, they did get two wins on us, but a pretty straightforward series. You know, they didn't uh, get us to an elimination game, so it was okay. But the only bad thing is, look down there in the uh, bottom right corner. Peter Mueller gone for 10 weeks. That's my second line right winger, my power play right winger, and Dmitry Kulikov, a top four defenseman, power play and penalty kill. So, those are two big injuries that we sustained, and they're not coming back for the whole playoffs. It doesn't matter even if we get to the Stanley Cup Finals. They're not going to make it back in time. I think uh, Mueller was out till July, and Kulikov was out till uh, the middle or end of June. Maybe Kulikov might be back for the Cup Finals, but Mueller's definitely gone. So we're going to have to uh, deal with some of these changes, but at least we have an AHL team that is tearing it up down there. 68-4-4 regular season. Uh, they just swept the first round in the playoffs, so we have uh, plenty of players that we can bring up. The last video I was um, asking you guys which players we should bring up and because uh, you know I didn't want to ruin the AHL run but you guys were agreeing with me you know it, does, it doesn't matter about the Calder just uh, go for that cup it doesn't matter which players you have to bring up and uh, I, I agree with that we've won enough Calder uh, cups down there we gotta win that Stanley so we got uh, Alexander Barkov he's played three career NHL games so far they've all been playoff games hasn't got his first career NHL point but uh, with that good offensive category with Mueller on the bench I need an offensive replacement, and that's why Barkov is going in there. We're going to see what he can do with Sezikis and McCallick on that second line. And for defense, in the last video, I brought up Tory Krug, but you guys were saying, play Derek Pouliot. The only reason I didn't want to play him was because of that AHL thing, but uh, I'm glad that I... Uh I ignored that. This guy's got to play. And you know what? When you compare this guy to uh, Griffin Reinhardt, this guy, look at his stats compared to Griffin Reinhardt's stats, right? And he's only 81 overall, but his shooting is 5-star. His puck skills is 4.5-star. His senses is 4-star. Defense 4-star. Skating 4-star. And his physical 2-star, right? It's hilarious how uh, Reinhardt is 82 overall, and this guy is less than him, but it looks like he's got... Uh, more categories, a little bit higher, but I think it's just the weighted categories. Re Reinhardt's uh, defensive awareness and uh, shot power was way too much, right? So, I think that's the reason. But we're going to go with uh, Derek Pouliot there on the second line with Tyler Myers. And I think he got, so, yeah, some power play time, but no penalty kill time. The penalty kill still looks the same. All right, so let's see what we can do against the uh, the Tampa Bay Lightning here. Our rival, definitely our rival in the Eastern Conference. Let's take a look at the team that they have. I think... Uh, when we were taking a look at the individual stats for the season for the uh, players uh, on the season, they had, what, three points, three of the top six point scorers on their team. Uh, Stamkos, Druin, and Kucherov, I think. So this is going to be interesting. This may be a high goal scoring series. So the first line, you got Jonathan Druin, the 50 goal scorer, Steven Stamkos, the 60 goal scorer, and Nikita Kucherov, I believe that's his name. 84 overall playmaker, which is the perfect combination with those two snipers. So it really is all about that first line, right? I mean, power play, penalty kill even, they're probably in there, and five on five. We need to be able to shut down Kucherov, Stamkos, and Jonathan Druin. Second line, Ernie, Filpula, and uh, Purcell. It's actually a pretty good second line for a stacked first line. Ernie's got like a defensive awareness that's like jacked up, I think. Uh, third line, McGinn, Thompson, and uh, Raddy. That's actually not a bad uh, third line. Raddy is actually a nice fit for that uh, third line, 81 overall sniper. And then the fourth line, you got uh, a bunch of guys I don't even know. Um, you know what? They're actually not that bad. I thought they'd be a bit weak. Um, Depth-wise, with that, uh, with those studs up front, but I guess they're not asking for that much money just yet because they're still young. Well, Stamkos, but Jonathan Druin might have been able to sign him for like five or six mil. Um, all right, so defensively, they got Victor Hedman and Carl. Hedman it looks like a top two defenseman. Carl, not so much. Uh, second line board in and uh, Gudas, 78 and an 82, and then a 78 and a 65. So they probably have a defensive injury, um, but uh, they are pretty weak defensively, I must say. They had, there's a few defensive defensemen in there, but uh, we can score some goals on these guys. We got some studs as well, all right? But goaltender, oh yeah, yeah, they signed uh, uh, Corey Crawford and uh, who's that? Jess something Smith. It's not, uh, no, Jay Smith. That must be a uh, young goalie I'm not too familiar with. Okay, so they got an 84 overall goaltender no matter what's in the net, but uh, I think we can handle these guys. Now, last thing, let's just take a look at the um, injury reports. Let's see if the Tampa Bay Lightning are uh, have been bit by uh, the injury bug like we have. So July 7th for Mueller and June 9th for Kulikov. He might be back if uh, if the, the playoffs go long, like if there's a lot of Game 7 series. We, he might be back in time, but we're going to have to win a series or two without him, right? Uh, Tampa Bay, now hang on. Let me just go the other way. It'll be faster. 
All right, and Tampa Bay does not have an injury to deal with. You know what? That's actually kind of good news because their defensive core has a 65 overall player on it without any injuries, you know? So if they take an injury to another defenseman, how weak is their defense going to be, right? So this might be a shootout, boys. This might be just a series that like ends up being like 6 to 5, 7 to 6, you know, crazy games. So let's get off to the right start here. Last two times we faced the Tampa Bay Lightning in the playoffs, they beat us. It's time for the Quebec City the Ace Nordiques to come back. All right, get that payback. So here we go. We're on the road. We don't get to start in the Colise du Pepsi. We got to start on the road in Tampa Bay. But our team had a better road record in the regular season this year. So we can get it done. So come on, boys. First line, I'm calling you out. First period. All right, so we didn't score, but they didn't score. That's fine. Even shots as well. This might... This might be an even series here. This might go the distance. Second period. All right, they got two. Yeah, there it is. Kucherov on the first line and uh, Paul Ranger, a defenseman. It might have been a defenseman on the first line as well, right? Um, and I was thinking this is going to be a shootout. Come on, boys. They got two goals on us. Where's our offense now? Freaking Mueller. Barkoff, you got to step up for us. Yeah, they don't have, like, their defensive core, man, that 65 overall guy and an A284 goalies. Are you kidding me? All right, so we get shut out in game one, it looks like. Holy shit, they just rubbed it in our face there at the end. All right, don't worry about it. Just one game. I'm not going to make any line changes just yet. But uh, that's all. Me, Peter Mueller, that's a big loss. That's a big loss for our team. Going to have to bank on the first and second line. Oh, oh my freaking God. Jordan Eberle's now been injured with an injured shoulder. His estimated return is May 7th. All right, so he'll looks like he'll be back for this series. Damn it. Assistant coach replaces player. I brought up uh, Colin Greening just in case injuries happen. All right, so let me go to coaching options, edit lines. That's rough, man. That's rough. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move Shore back up to the second line. All right, Sezikis up to the first line. Uh, Greening, hang on, Matthias to the third line, right? Uh, Greening, you can play center there on the, uh, on the fourth line. I'm just trying to think here. That second line looking, uh, looking a pretty, looking like it's pretty weak right now. Um, you know what? We'll give Barkoff the chance on the first line, all right, with Jonathan Huberto and Kapitanov. Let's see what this guy can do for us. Oh, I don't want to take anything away from that second line. The first line's got to get it done. We'll see what Barkoff can do for them. Uh, and for Eberly on the power play, Greening... Uh, you know what, switch you right there. He can stay on the second line power play. And then the penalty kill, yeah, you can stay on the penalty kill because he's got good uh, PK. Yeah, that's fine. He's got good defensive awareness. All right, so once again, the injury bug hitting the Quebec City Ace Nordiques pretty hard right here. I don't know. Another loss like that, especially, we're going to have to go to Markstrom. I'm going to leave it with uh, Eddie Lack for right now, right? It's one game. Let's see what we can do here in game two. On the road once again. Uh, the series is not over yet, just boys, but let's get a goal. Let's get an early goal, get that monkey off our back. First period. All right, there we go. We got two. Adam, no, no, no. Wait. Oh, they got two. Shit. Oh, my God. I got confused there for a second. Adam Ernie and uh, Teddy Purcell. Uh, for the Tampa Bay Lightning and Tyler Myers for us. So at least we got one, and we're out shooting them. Eddie Lack, man, you're not doing too good. Two goals on seven shots right there. That's not good, man. That's not good. Whoa, 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 whoa. I want to do this. There you go. Second period. All right, so we got one. They got one. Morgan Riley and Adam Ernie is second of the game. So Eddie Lack is allowing some goals, which I thought this would be a shootout, but for some reason, their goaltender on their defense, of course, keeping the puck out of the net, which is ridiculous because we got better defense. We got better goalie. So offense, I'm calling you out. You got to step up. There you go. Casey Sezikis finally gets a big goal right there. Game's not over just yet, though, boys. Come on. Power play. Oh, nice try. Come on, boys. Two minutes. We're going overtime. Yep. All right. So round two, game two, overtime. Is it going to go to a second overtime? It could be. Ten minutes left. Come on. Somebody step up. We got 50 shots on the freaking net. And we lose the game. Oh, my goodness. Yep. So they're getting some good goaltending. Uh, better than our goaltending. 51 shots, only three goals. 37 shots, four goals, which isn't horrible, but... Like, their goalie's playing better than our goalie, all right? So I think it's Markstrom time. I definitely think it's Markstrom time. Uh, do we get any... Uh, Barkoff got his first career assist right there. All right, so that's good. Uh, first career point as well. But, yeah, other than that, not much. So the Tampa Bay Lightning, once again, it looks like the Tampa Bay Lightning have the number of the Quebec City Ace Nordiques for some reason. Jordan Eberle, oh, thank God. I needed that. Needed Jordan Eberle to come back, man. That was a big loss. Thank God. All right, Matthias... You get back down to the uh, fourth line. Greening, I'm going to scratch you and uh, unscratch Everly. Greening, there you go. Everly. And then we'll do the same thing for the uh, the power play, all this stuff. Hang on a second. 
Everly right there, and the P and the PK. All right. Anything else where he wins? Four on four lines. Yep. There you go. And probably shootout as well. Oh, uh, extra attacker. No, I think that's yeah. That's Azikas, and goalie and shootout. All right. So. Everly's back in. Now we're going to switch to uh, Markstrom. We're not going to change up any of the lines. We're going to leave them. Um, maybe I should move Barkoff down, actually. No, you know what? There's no one to like to bring up. I can bring up a better defensive player, but I need some offense. Yeah, no, I'm going to leave Barkoff up there. All right, we need... Oh, oh what's this? Uh, Four-man power play. And not put Everly in there. All right, there you go. All right, so hang on one second here, boys. All right, that's much better. So here we go. We're down 2 nothing in the series. Not a big problem because, well, it is a problem, but not the end of the world. Remember last year we won that cup. We had two series where we trailed 2 nothing after the first two games. But now we have to come back and win that like two or three in a row, okay? A team like the Tampa Bay Lightning, you cannot fall down 0-3. Uh, you can't even fall down 3-1. and So we really need to win these two games at home. And Le Colisee du Pepsi, hopefully on front of our home ice fans, they can get us going. Oh, oh wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, no, I, I thought I uh, forgot to put Markstrom in there. Markstrom is in the net, all right? So Eddie Lack has been pulled, just like every other year when we need to win that Stanley Cup. Eddie Lack eventually goes out. Markstrom comes back in. Let's see what Markstrom can do for us in his first game this playoff run, all right? First period. All right, so we start off with the lead. Third line as well, sure. All right, so that's a good start. They got 15 shots on the net. We got 12. Come on now, boys. We could use some more goals. Uh, it's, uh, this series is all about offense, all right? Come on now, first line. Second period. Period. All right, there you go. Alexander Barkov, the fantastic Finn, gets his first career NHL goal, and it's a big one to give us a 2 0 lead in the second period of a playoff game where we basically need to win it. It is, it is a must win. So, Barkov, that's a big goal. He'll always remember that. A slap shot from the corner right there, but whatever. It went in. All right, so third period. You got the routine in place, Markstrom. Our playoff goalie, Markstrom. Come on. Oh, no, 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 no. Good ball. Oh, I was going to say good PK. He just got it at the end. Steven Stamkos. Come on, boys. I could use the support. I could use the support. Power play. Oh, no penalty kill. Oh, good kill, boys. Good kill. Yes. Aaron Ekblad gets the empty netter. All right, we're back in the series. This series ain't ending just like that, Tampa Bay. No way, no how. We break out uh, freaking Markstrom, and he goes on a tear. That's what I'm talking about. Alexander Barkov, his first career NHL goal and we get the three to one win so to bark off oh he had an assist that game as well look at that this kid's got uh two points that game had a point in the last game as well starting to learn how to play I like it all right so again game four now pretty much a must win all right pretty much a must win just because if we fall down three to one against the Tampa Bay Lightning it's not impossible but we'd have to win three straight and I don't so I don't see that happening, right? So we got to win this game. This is, I'm going to label it as a must win, all right? We haven't had an elimination game in, in a quite a while with this team. Come on, let's not start now. Here we go, all right? First period, get off to the right starts. Oh, all right, you know what? That's not horrible. They are out shooting us 10 to 6, but at least we haven't conceded one just yet. Markstrom in there, man. He's going to give confidence to this team. We just have to have those solid first periods, all right? So here we go. The fans are going crazy. Give us the momentum that we need. Second period. All right, there we go. Milan McCallick, the man who was not traded, the man who's definitely in his last season. But, geez, he comes through big time for us. So we got a one-goal lead in the third period. I do not like that. One-goal leads are never safe. So, boys, it's, it's all about you guys. You guys got to step up and score some goals here. First, second, third, fourth, I don't care. Somebody step up. Power plays. Does two power plays in score? Come on now. Oh, no. Ah, yes! Casey Sezikas! What a big goal that one is. Gets that lead. Oh, 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 hang on. Hang on. Hang on. There it is. Sean Mathias, big playoff performer. He goes out there, kills off the remaining minute that we needed, and Casey Sezikas gets a big-time game-winning goal to even the series between the Quebec City Ace Nordiques and the Tampa Bay Lightning. We got a series here, boys. We got ourselves a series. I knew it. This one was going far. Did Barkoff had another assist again? I think he did. That first goal I think I saw his name Barkov he's tearing it up now boys he, he's coming to play the second overall pick uh Hunter shinkrook has been injured with a broken nose replaced player let's see what the AHL team's doing down there yeah still haven't lost the game first game of the, uh, round two can't worry about that though all right so tied 2-2 in the series back on the road now though I do not want to lose this game boys all right if we do we can win two again but still let's let's keep this good times going we got Markstrom in the net our young stud Barkoff is finally tearing it up for us come on we can't be stopped first period all right they got a goal on a short-handed goal come on your goofballs what kind of power play is that ah 
Shorthand and goal, that's frustrating as shit. Shorthand and goal from the neutral zone as well. Markstrom, what the fuck? He's probably just clearing it. Bounced in or something. All right, don't worry about it. It's adversity. We can we can, we can can beat adversity. So come on, second period. We start on the power play, so maybe we can answer back with a quick power play goal. Come on now, boys. Second period. All right, there you go. Yuri Kapitanov. Leave it up to the lethal Latvian to get a big goal. All right, so we got the third period. We're tied. This is a big one. I mean, a lot of people, you could say that whoever wins this period wins this overtime, wins this game, wins the series, right? So this is a big one. This is a big one. To go up 3-2 to two in the series. And I don't know. Who scored? Kapitanov, I think. It's a glitch goal. Oh, who scored again? Ka is that two for Kapitanov? It is. Patrick for Kapitanov. Holy shit. The lethal Latvian. I don't know what's going on. It's glitching. Come on. Keep it up. Now, you got the two-goal lead in the third period, uh, Markstrom. You got this, Markstrom. You got this, Markstrom. Yeah, baby. Quebec City. This is this is becoming a routine for us. We fall down two to nothing and we storm back three straight to put them against the ropes. The lethal Latvian. Yuri Kapitanov gets a natural hat trick, all right? One, two, three. Not broken up at all. Huberto got two three assists for Huberto as well. So, geez, the hat trick and the rat trick. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, so we're back in this series, and we're not only we're back in it, we've taken control of it. Sean Mathias has been injured with a mild concussion. I'm going to replace him. He'll be replaced with uh, Colin Greening, and he only gets fourth line center time, so it's the perfect replacement. Uh, replace player. How's the AHL team doing? Still haven't lost the game. That's good. All right, so we're in the uh, we're in Le Colisee du Pepsi with our rivals backs up against the ropes. Okay, this is a must win. I want I want to win this. Just for just to just to have payback for these guys, all right? They've kicked us out the last two times. Come on, boys! On front of your home ice fans in Quebec, let's get this done. Everybody, step up. Markstrom's been playing great for us, but offense, I need you to play like you've been playing. Yuri Kapitanov, Everly, Huberdo, and Barkov, step up for us right now. You guys can do it, all right? First period, all right. There you go, Jordan Everly gets a big goal. We're out shooting them 11 to nine, so this is looking like a good game right now, boys. This is looking like a very good game just keep it up second period oh they had to tie it tie ratty on the power play all right so 1-1 one, one game in the third period offense you need to step up markstrom has played outstanding for you guys all right you do not want to push this to a game seven on the road let's go there it is colin greening what fourth line center what a replacement come on now boys come on kill it off no PK! What a, what a PK! Come on! Yes! <laughs> I don't believe it. Once again, the Quebec City Ace Nordiques fall down 2 to nothing in the series and storm back with four straight. And they beat their rival, the Tampa Bay Lightning. All right, silence all their critics. If there was one team in the East that would be able to handle the defending Stanley Cup champion, it would have been the Tampa Bay Lightning. But no longer, we're a better team than they are. All right, Jordan Everly, a goal and an assist. And Colin Greening, he goes in there to replace Sean Mathias on the fourth line center and he gets a big time goal for us a big time goal and here we go we're going off to the third round against the uh, New York Rangers I'll check my uh, GM tracker anything I can upgrade uh, pro scout there you go raise that a little bit all right, so what a series right there, boys. I was thinking that we were in trouble. And Sean Mathias is available to come back. Man, maybe I should uh, play Greening after that. He should get something after that. But look at that. We, we go to uh, Markstrom. He, he comes in, and he has uh, th four straight games where he allows one goal. What a freaking playoff beast Markstrom is. It's, uh, it's incredible, all right? So let's take a look at the individual stats for that. Oh, man, I thought we were in trouble there, that playoff run. I really did. Tampa Bay Lightning, man, the one team. And after falling down two to nothing, right? But... We switched to Mark. Markstrom is just, I don't know, he's outstanding in the playoffs. Freaking outstanding. All right, so forwards, let's see. Jonathan Huberdeau, 12 points in 12 games. Jordan Everly, only 5 points in 11 games, but he really woke up in that second round. So that's, I'm happy about that. Uh, Sezikis, 5 points in 12 games, but it's uh, 4 points in 6 games in this round. He only had 1 point in the last round, so he had a better second round. Hayes, 4. Barkoff, 4 points in 9 games. Um, he played, what, 3 games in the uh, first round, or 2 games. So I think it was like 4 points in 6 games or something like that in round 2. So good job, Barkoff. McCallick, 4 points. All, right, all these guys. Yeah, Colin Greening, 2 games played. 1 big game winner. Um... 
Defenseman Yuri Kapitanov, 10 points in 12 games. He does what I need him to do. And then goalies, let's see. So Eddie Lack, he played good for us. 2.07 goals against average. Save percentage of 92.8. I mean, he played great, but Markstrom comes in. Four games, four wins, goals against average of one, and a save percentage of 97.06. All right, this is what I'm talking about with our lethal combination of goaltenders. I love it. I must say, I love it. Nothing works better than this, baby. All right, so there you go. Where is uh, the playoff tree? Last but not least, let's see who the Elite Four is or the Final Four. So you got the Nashville Predators versus the Vancouver Canucks. One versus two over there in the West. And then you got two versus two over here in the East. So the best of the best in the Final Four. Nashville versus Vancouver and the New York Rangers versus your Quebec City Ace Nordiques. So I will see you guys in round three and wish us luck.